So we have the beam and all the brass hardware to make a bevel gauge. Let's have a little bit of fun here. That is a lot closer. So if I crank it all the way down, it cannot be any thinner than that. However, I can make it a good bit thicker. So I want it to be somewhere around that, which is six two five. around that size. Making it parallel. These could go on here. That's what I want. Go to there and there. And 
basically it doesn't. It needs to be ever so slightly wider than that. So I could set the teeth wider. Let's see how that one goes. see does it slide in nicely all the way down to depth hey look at that Just like it's supposed to. Look at that. Let's do some blah. That's pleasant. Just a little bit of junk in there to remove. There you go. Bevel gauge, just like that. So there you have it, bevel gauge. One of the tools that you can never have enough of, and I have a whole collection of bevel gauges and I've had times where they've all been in use and I need another one. So having a kit where you can actually make one at a rather affordable price and having a lot of fun, this is kind of nice. It's basically a square that isn't square. It can be put at any angle. So if you're doing something weird, you can lock it down at that. And now you have a square that is set up for this weird angle. And if you're doing a compound, you need two of these. If you're doing a double compound, you need three of them. And sometimes you're doing multiple double compounds and you start needing a lot of these really fast and it's just a good thing to have on hand so you can have a different angle for everything you have and I like it uh, simple kit from Tay Tools I'll leave a link to that down below also if you do have any questions about this you can go over to the second channel would by right how to I talk through the whole thing and explain what I'm doing and why I'm doing it or if you do have any other particular questions go ahead and throw those down in the comments down below that does help out the channel so anytime you do hit like comment share subscribe those things do help us out they get us in front of more people and they help this channel grow so thank you for that on top of that, there are a bunch of people who are scrolling over here. They are the patrons on Patreon. They are the ones who are literally keeping us going because we, we are completely sponsored by you, the viewer. As well as people who've clicked the little join button down below and become members here. We do have special perks for both. And if you want to find out what those are and more about the program, you can go down below or click the little join button, become a member here or become a patron on Patreon. Those do really, really help. They are completely what keep us going. So we are sponsored by you, the viewer, and not by regular sponsors. So thank you for that. I think I'll do it for now. And until next time, have a wonderful day. So if a bevel gauge is used for marking things that are not square, why don't they call it a not square?